We're backstage again with, with the Scorpions and Buddha. And we were talking about how it felt to play behind the Iron Curtain. Meet the crowd, was that kind of scary or? No, no, I said, and, and you didn't, you had to make a statement by doing that. I mean, for a real good cause. When we played in, uh, in Budapest, Monster of Rock, and we uh, was already behind the Iron Curtain, we asked the producer, a promoter, uh, his name was Laszlo, I said, Laszlo, what's, what's, where's the Iron Curtain here? You know, you know, oh, no, 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 a thing changing. There's a guy called Mikhail Gorbachev. He is changing things. And we said, oh, you know, we like to uh, play in Russia. You know, somehow, are you in Russia? No problem now. I think it's no problem because you have a big hit there still. I mean, you, it's so big you can't believe. He said, well, you sure? Yes. I said, okay, we are working on new album, Savage Amusement. And let's let's find a way that when the album is done, that we can go there. So in this case, we did the album. There was already a few uh, TV teams in the studio to uh, do some uh, interviews. So and there we had the offer: five shows in Moscow and five shows in Leningrad. But somehow, because it was first, before first of May, first of May parade, somehow the. Russians, they had a little bit afraid that Gorkin's playing in the in this uh, stadium there because they didn't know how to handle it. So they there uh, changed their mind and said, okay guys, we can't offer you this Moscow thing. It's two days before we Jeez. left to Russia, but we can offer you 10 shows in Leningrad. We said, okay, before we say no, let's go and do the 10 shows in Leningrad. There was 10 shows in Leningrad, each show was sold out by 15,000 people. And it was amazing when we arrived there, the, the people had a kind of distance to ask the question about this because we came from Germany, they didn't know what to expect. But then after the second, third show already, they, we made friends, he did support band, Gorky Park, they needed equipment because they had not enough stuff there. We said, okay guys, what you ever want here, take this and this and this. So somehow, after the fifth show, it was so normalized in the, by the really? fans. It was I'm so excited because they know already all of our material. They didn't have records, but they are somehow, uh, somebody from the, from who had worked outside of, of Russia, brought maybe an album into the country that did kind of pirate stuff, uh -huh. uh, and gave it and sold it very high price to other fans. Anyway, it was a great time we had in 88, and then in 89 we was invited to this Music Peace Festival where we played, and then 100,000 Russian was singing with us, uh, still loving you together, and even the guys from the army were throwing their heads on stage and stuff like this. It was like the changes in one year were so much, so they clouded the idea to write a song about it, and this song was Widow Change. Two months later, okay, the wall came down. People thought, of course, the Scorpions did a song because of the wall came down, but it wasn't.